Well, it's Monday, which means it's time for our box office report brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Coming in at number one this week for the third week in a row is Straight Outta Compton, making $13.2 million. In the number two spot, and surprising a lot of people, is the faith-based film War Room, bringing in $11 million. In third spot is Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, making an additional $8.3 million, bringing its worldwide total up to almost $480 million. In fourth spot is the Owen Wilson film No Escape, bringing in just $8.28 million on its opening weekend. And rounding out the top five is the horror film Sinister 2, just barely beating out The Man from Uncle in our top five list with $4.6 million. John, what stands out to you in this week's box office report? Well, there are a couple things that stand out to me here. None of them good. Um, well, number one, look, I, I, you think we would learn by now. None of us predicted War Room in our top five. I don't think none of us were even aware that the mm -hmm. film was opening. Yeah. Don't underestimate the potential of niche films that have a dedicated market that they're targeting their niche films at. We've seen faith-based films in the past have modest success. I guess we should stop being surprised at that. I know nothing about the film. So that's, but it also teaches us something. If the box office is bad enough, your $11 million movie can be number two at the box <laughs> office. This is the worst box office weekend of the year so far, like 20% like down from the same weekend last year. It was terrible. The number one movie at the box office made $13 million. $13 million. Wow. It was a horrible weekend at the box office, but kudos to, to Straight Out Compton hanging on to the number one spot. I don't think it will be a number one again uh, next week, but, uh, but it was a decent run. The other thing that stands out to me, how bad does your film have to be when the number one box office movie is only $13 million and your movie still comes in 13th on its opening weekend? <laughs> we are your friends. Just look, sometimes we use hyperbole and we throw the word bomb. I think we're too liberal with the word bombed. We sure. throw that idea. We are your friends. The word bombed was created for a movie like We Are Your Friends. It made on 2,333 screens... It made $1.8 million. <gasps> Not since the Oogie Loves have we seen a movie <laughs> do this bad. I think the Oogie Loves was also on like 3,000 screens. It made like $800,000. Yeah, we, we Are Your Friends is actually number three in all-time box office bombs oh, ever. Weekend. It's Oogie Loves and Delgo. And then, oh, we, and then Delgo, we Are Your Friends. Right. Delgo, that 3D animated film that you didn't see. That the, mm. There's two of those films, and then We Are Your Friends is number three. It's unreal. If you want to see the top 10, look it up. It's crazy. Like, I almost can't help but think if they had done no marketing for We Are Your Friends and just said, hey, yo, everybody, Zac Efron got a new movie coming out about him trying to foray into the music industry. That's all you need to know. We're not going to show you any trailers. It, it would have made five. It would have made <laughs> You're five. right. In fact, it was the, exactly that phraseology. It, it, that should be the movie poster. Yo, everybody, Zac Efron, just, it should just be that, and then We Are That's Your Friends. That's it. Five million. <laughs> horrible. Look, we'll often say, who cares about a title? I mean, but it was a horrible title. And I still remember the... When we, I think it was the three of us when that trailer, that yeah. first trailer came out, and we were like, this is the worst, yeah. awful, this We is eviscerated it. But yeah, is it? It, it came in behind American Ultra. <laughs> it came in behind The Gift. The Gift finished five spots ahead of it. Wow. The Gift, in its fourth week of release, finished five spots ahead of it. And that's an independent film that's only playing in like a sprinkling of theaters. It's yeah, insane. The Gift was only mm -hmm. playing... Well, no, it's still it's still in a good number of theaters. It's still right. in 1,900 theaters. Okay. But We Are Your Friends, opening weekend, 2,300 screens worldwide. Sinister 2 in its second week of release blew it out of the wall. I don't know. Mark, what stood out to you about the box? The office fact movie? that We Are Your Friends has no friends. is <laughs> like, and, and what we've seen more so this summer and this year than in past years is that the box office kind of is doling out a, a proper sense of justice to me where if a film is fun to watch and people are enjoying it, it gets rewarded by being number one, like a Mission Impossible or a Jurassic World. They just keep climbing up the box office, mm -hmm. and movies that don't deserve to make money don't, like We Are Your Friends. It was not the worst movie I've ever seen. I think it had some redeeming qualities to it, but at the end of the day, it's four stooges who have a stupid dream and have no redeeming character qualities, so yeah, they don't deserve to have anybody go see them because kids shouldn't be looking up to these idiots. So I like that. The War Room thing, 
didn't surprise me, even though I'd never heard of the movie. Because faith-based <laughs> films, like you said, like God's Not Dead, Heaven is for Real, those movies, like those were other movies, just came out of nowhere. And they have a dedicated audience to it. It just shocks me that Kirk Cameron's Saving Christmas didn't do better <laughs> last year when that movie came out. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it was a really weak period for the box office. And I think it's going to continue into this week, though. I'm not so sure. We don't have any blockbusters coming. Straight Out of Compton might be number one for a fourth week in a row, mm-hmm. unless the guy driving the car is going to unseat him, which I don't think he can do. I, I think well, here's the reason I'm going to say yes is because like, Straight Out of Compton is probably going to drop another 40% maybe going into its fourth week now. So I think it's going to make around $9 million. I got to believe Transporter, just on brand name alone, watch me be way off on this, just on brand name alone, I think Transporter can make $10 million opening weekend. I All think right. Transporter can make yeah. $10 million opening. But watch me be completely wrong. Schnapp, yeah. what stood out to you? We have no friends. We have, we have we, no friends. We yeah. have no, no friends. friends. Yeah, it's like... Are we ever going to be better than this? Yes. Yeah. I hope you're going to be a lot better than this. <laughs> On DVD. Probably not. <laughs> Straight to video. Um, yeah, that that was... I mean, it's it was kind of pleasing because I I just I haven't even seen the movie, but the trailers just bothered me yeah, so it's much. It's not great. Yeah, you know, so it was kind of fun to see like the rest of the world sort of like, yeah, no. So that <laughs> a Mission Impossible, I'm happy that people are still seeing that. That's number three on the box office. Straight out of Compton, number one. I mean, it was, it's a it's a weird box office because all these other films, and then from the creators of Courageous and Fireproof, another film you haven't seen, a <laughs> series of films, War Room. You know, it's like, wait, is it Matthew and, Broderick? And, no, that's War Games. This is War Room. And here's the funny thing. On the Friday box, just the Friday daily, War Room actually beat Straight Outta Compton on Friday. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, and then Straight Outta Compton rallied on the weekend. But I'm glad you brought a Mission Impossible because that's one that we are not giving its credit. Fifth week in release, still at number three, hanging mm-hmm. in there. And just, d- despite how bad the box office has been this week, Still making over $8 million on your fifth week of release. Yeah. Not bad. It, it's just, once again, it goes to what you're saying about some justice is being doled out. That movie's getting rewarded by the audience going and paying their ticket money to go see good films like that, like Straight Outta Compton. Ant so Man nice Ant Man made more money than We Are Your Friends. Right, yeah. And, and deservedly did, it so. It did. Yeah. And, and it's seventh week of release. At, at seventh the end week of, of the release. summer, you always hope that you can go out of summer with one more, like, bang, like a fun action movie or something. It was definitely not going to be We Are Your Friends. Right. No Escape. Just, I, I just think it kind of missed the the boat as far as everything goes, as far as marketing goes, awareness of the movie, and it wasn't that good. It, it was a weird watch, so it, it felt like it should be based on a true story, but it wasn't, and it gets ridiculous at certain points, so yeah. it just, it, there was nothing that really popped at the box office, so straight out of Compton, you might be looking at a fourth gold medal. Now, I should be pointing too, like this weekend, the same weekend last year was also a very bad weekend. Mm -hmm. I think its total was like $66 million total for this weekend last year. But again, this weekend down 20% from that. Worst box office uh, result of the weekend. Maybe we'll see a new worst box office champion next weekend. (laughs) uh, uh, Isn't this the dumping ground though for most movies? It has kind of, in the last three, four years, it has become like like the the February. It's the new February. End of August is the new February.